Good morning, everyone. I'm Honeywell, and this is episode 11 of The Perfect Town. When we had last left off, this marketplace just came online, so we're going to go ahead and up the vendors and distribute them the way that we want them. If you're watching the series for the first time, um, Banished is a, a sandbox uh, city building game. And because it's a sandbox game, there isn't really any one perfect town. You can create whatever kind of town you want and pretty much make it work. But this is my idea of a perfect town, which is basically a town that is reasonably attractive and efficient. I try and share um, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and the game mechanics behind it as I uh, go along. Uh, but this isn't a tutorial series. It's just me playing the game. And I'm not a professional Let's Player uh, by any means. I have no uh, aspirations to monetize my channel or anything along those lines. Um, I just enjoy the game Banished and I wanted to share. Hopefully if you're watching you'll find some uh, tips for your own towns. Or even better yet, you'll share some of your tips with me. That would be good. And right now I'm just going around taking a look at at the town, seeing if we have any unfinished building product. Uh, projects back here. The stockpiles back here are ridiculous. Um, underproducing is bad, but overproducing is just as bad when it comes towards efficiency. But we are working to fix that. And instead of lowering, lowering our production, what we're working on is increasing our population uh, to match the production. Okay, enough of that. What we're going to be doing this episode is uh, working on getting our trading posts automatic before I lose my mind. And we're also going to start working on this area right here and get it ready for some farms. Journal goods, wheat and apples. Uh, we will buy some apples, please. And we're also going to to key in a few, a small amounts of goods to auto purchase here. I never set this up so early in the game. And it's actually a little bit challenging because I really don't know how much we need of what. And I also have all of my trading posts over here stocked with um, firewood. And we're producing an abundance of firewood, and I'm happy to uh, use it to buy some things. Um, but each time I use it at the trading post, I like to to do that manually, so I can judge whether or not I can kind of afford afford it or not.
Okay, so what I've done here is... I set this up to purchase um, some small amounts of, of the basics of raw materials. I've taken the firewood out of this trading post so, um, so they'll be forced to use ale. And I've also stocked some iron tools which we're not producing right now, but just in case we, um, we purchase some iron tools, they'll go ahead and keep them in the trading post and use them as currency. Okay. And the reason why I want to do this, I want to be able to ignore the trading post merchants arriving if I want to, but still have some of the goods that the town needs coming in. And we'll buy some logs and iron from this merchant. So Fourteen hundred. And these three trading posts we have earmarked to um, purchase all of our food, and they're stocked with. Um, all of the meat, which we sell for three, and buy um, foods that have a value of one. We're also using all of our um, overabundance of wool to make some wool coats. And we're stocking the, these food trading posts with that as well. And always with the tunnels. We do not have the stone for for this right now. We actually don't even have the stone for stone roads. But eventually a merchant is gonna come along with some stone, so so I'm really not worried about it. We're just laying out a grid system here. And we'll fit as many crops as we can. I should have cleared the trees first before I did this. It makes it really hard to see. I think I'll put another road back here. Oh good, a uh, food merchant, which is what we need. It's one step closer to getting these set up. And 
well buy some more apples. Apples are what we're using for all of our breweries. Amarich. <laughs> Amarich was our one uneducated laborer in this town. That's funny. Uh, he died a while back. Poor guy. Okay, and we're going to purchase the uh, orchard and crop foods. Every visit, please. We'll also purchase some of this food that they brought us. Well, I guess we're hanging on to the eggs and mushrooms. And it's good. And I said in the last episode that we were uh, going to use um, a few trading posts around this lake that merchants do not have access to, um, just to store some, some reserve food and materials. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we have an overabundance of a lot. So it is not going to hurt anything to take some of this food out of the food supply. As well as some tools and warm coats. That's good for now. We'll check back in on that a little later and see what we can do. This we have set up for auto purchase, which is good, thank you. And this one, we're still waiting for the general merchant to come, which is extremely annoying. seeds. Oh, and I don't even have any firewood over here anymore. Okay, dismissed. As you can see, this gets old really fast. By the end of the episode, I want to be done with this. What is this, 2,100?
Twenty-nine one. Oh, trade dismissed. Good. Good. What do you have? Cherry and plum? No. I'm just interested in crop, crop seeds, not orchard seeds. The only, um, the only orchard crop that we're gonna grow is apples. And that is only because, like I said, I want a little bit of everything in the town. You are much better off um, just purchasing fruit instead of trying to grow it yourself, in my opinion. But it's not all about the efficiency. We have too much food here. Let's see, what do we have, 100,000? We'll go ahead and raise this up to 200,000. There isn't a time when I'm ever gonna wanna stop producing food. But I do like the reminders. Um, periodically. So I leave the caps in and usually double them each time. I forgot we were supposed to look at seeds, too. I'm in such a habit of ignoring them, I don't even see them anymore. Um, what is that? 625? I'll also be happy to be done with this so I can stop uh, doing math. Is that 125? I really think they should have like a, a button here to do it for you. Okay, you're dismissed. And you still have not brought me any stone. I think you should be fired. I have a stone order on this stock, and they've been bringing it in increments of a thousand. But as fast as we get it, we go through it. And we're still not even building stone houses yet, so. So that is annoying. Okay, and what did I do here? Something is not lined up right. Either the barns or the crop fields. And it is the barns. Okay, let's delete that road. I don't want these roads to be messed up with stone because I'm pretty sure you just lose your materials.
Oh good, general goods. Which means, I wonder if a food merchant came for this one. I can't even remember. Apple beans and wheat is what we want to purchase from the general goods merchant. Do they have any stone? No stone. Okay, you can be dismissed. You are already set up. And I'll just keep checking this dock, but I think I think food merchants came to all of these docks already, so I'm going to uh, take a chance and just auto-purchase on this. And I want the fruits to be purchased first. Just because of the breweries. When the merchant arrives. Okay. And hopefully that's right. I'll just keep checking it until I can find out for sure. And you. I believe we had set up to auto-purchase some things. Logs, iron, and that sort of thing. Did you do it? Oh uh, yeah, and you also bought berries and crap. Okay, that's fine. Okay, back over here. And great, this one I know, we were just waiting for a general merchant. And actually, I don't even care, I'm gonna buy this stone with food. Apples, beans, and wheat. Every visit, please. Every visit. Dismiss you. And let's get the auto purchase going on here. The max amount of vegetables, fruits, meats, and green. Uh, and grains, and we'll move the fruits up on the priority list when the merchant arrives. Okay, that is great. That means that all three of these docks are set up to auto-purchase. Whether they're correct or not, I do not know. You're dismissed.
do you have stone? No stone. Damn you. I'll dismiss you. And what was I doing here? Uh, this is wrong. I'll buy some stone and steel tools. And iron. What is that? 3400? 425. And food merchant. Okay, great. You are all set up. You are all set up. And that is one of the major goals of the episode was to get the food automated. And that has happened. So I think we're going to go ahead and cut this episode here. And we, when we come back in episode 12, we'll finish um, laying out our crop fields down here, purchasing seeds, and maybe think about clearing out some of this area um, over here where we're going to be setting up some orchards. Okay, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for episode, what, 12?